Hey people, in today 3 Faction War, this is Argus Desert Gate and Orcs vs Imperial Guard for the Blue Orky team. Daddy Waroth is a mech boy. Teleporting hero that fights in ranged combat, puts out some good damage and has a bunch of Orky gadgets alongside Crewfinity with a Warboss, a melee hero that can walk through objects, regular offense, disruption and support from the front lines and rounding off the Orky team, Curse Crab, rocking a Commander Knob, infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orky Stow begins in ranged combat with a twin linked shooter. Red Guard team, Olev, with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fights in the melee. Combat begins with a refractor shield, stabbing the ground with his sword there. Alongside Wicked is an Inquisitor, offensive hero with powerful control abilities, begins in melee combat but can get specialized ranged weapons. The Death Core of Krieg DLC. And rounded off the team, Saint Kelly as a Lord General fights in ranged combat begins with the retinue of stormtroopers can add to these guys throughout the game giving him more abilities, very strong defense and support over on the western side where all these resources are against the mech east side the guard pushing through but some orcs maybe with a little bit of a flank through Finity here, not sure where the Inquisitor is oh, they're on the east side too so maybe a 2v2 fight Lord Commissar is deep in the enemy lines though here comes the war boss. There's a stomp. Didn't hit too much with it. Now has two sentinel stomps to deal with. Oh, this one's a navy yet. Inquisitor's in amongst some shooter boys. I think she was trying to use Hammer of the Witches when she got stomped there. Oh, down goes the Lord Commissar. Sloppy play from Olev. Sluggers caught him. And they will tear through the Inquisitor too. With their burners on a level 1 hero. They will tear through them relatively well. Especially if they don't have an anti-melee ability like the war boss's stomp and stuff. More guardsmen for Olev. Triple guardsmen for St. Kelly. No sentinel on that western side. But as you'd expect perhaps. With two sentinels over here. They were able to push through. Maybe get some power bashing done. Meanwhile west side. Oh look at this. We have an orky turret. So these things do not suppress. They do suppression damage type though. I think that means that they will uh, do more damage the closer you get to it but they don't actually suppress stuff not often you see them I think they do pretty good DPS but you know it's, it's a static thing and if it's not suppressing perhaps has limited value Sluggers almost finishing off these guardsmen as they retreated and can maybe get a stormtrooper off of here where well, you got flat jacket for incoming St. Kelly did drop some guardsmen over here but they're easily replaced Power is bashed on the eastern side and uh, decapped maybe. Sentinel's doing something. There he goes. Wanted to make make sure he was facing this way to shoot stuff, I think. Looters on the way for Curse Crab. Warboss angrily gets his wreck point back, and here's a sneaky commando. Are we gonna see the stun bomb here? There's nothing really around to take advantage of it though. There it goes. Will give things a chance to catch up, I guess. The Lord Commissar's back to his feet. You've lost the indicator of him now. Up goes the shield. Commander just smacking thing with his gun. Which would be pretty painful. That would probably kill a guardsman, I bet. Look at the size of him. Orcs power through and should get the eastern side back. But meanwhile, Wicked has come mid. I haven't capped things though. I'm not sure what they were up to during that time. Sentinel gets the stomp. That was a risky play, and it might still backfire. Sluggers are chasing. They have terrible sidearms. I'm not sure if they have the DPS to finish it off. There's the melee charge. Can they get a melee attack? I don't think they can. They're still chasing it, though. Meanwhile, a bunch of blobbed up guardsmen with their las guns. What could go wrong? Daddy Waroth with lots of damaged squads, and the mech boy is down. Maybe they can get onto the power with flamers and stuff and get a full bash over there. Sentinel got down to 25 hit points. Badly needs repairs. Using incoming to get in around the turret. Still has a firing solution on those guardsmen there. But they're going to get it. And we do have flamers on the way. For one of the squads. We have four guardsmen squads for St. Kelly on this western side. Yeah, they should tear up these sluggers pretty well as they approach. If he targets them quickly enough. There we go. It's good damage. Should be able to get rid of them. And at least bash a couple of gens, I think. These guys are going to come in. 
and potentially suppress multiple squads. Meanwhile, in the mid, crossbow bolt pistol for the Inquisitor gives her the pretty awesome crippling volley. Guards on running away, big surprise. War boss has no war gear, but we do have storm boys on the way for Daddy Waroth. I was going to say maybe because I think he has. Did he get his death gun? No, he didn't get his death gun. So maybe looters would be better because the storm boys are going to jump in and then just get shot up because they can't disrupt or suppress or anything until they get their knob leader. It's dealt with them. Still two guardsman squads here. Gets a decap. Incoming, really doing some work from the flat jacket. Sentinel decapping the mid orcs, having a better time of it on the eastern side. In fact, they got a full bash and the decap thanks to Curse Crab. There's the Basilisk Flare from the Lord Commissar's Global Bar. Almost killed some shooter boys. Backs off now. He's got the Carapace Armor and the Power Sword. So he's got lead by example. And that's a little buff for Inspire Courage. Can be quite energy intensive, the Lord Commissar, because he's got that shield. Down goes a Sentinel. Storm Boys are a power melee squad and Sentinels have heavy infantry armor. So they can tear through it if the stomp is not an issue. This thing doesn't even have to stomp. Olev goes tier 2. St. Kelly's already going. Here's Waroth's Storm Boys jumping over the wall. And they've got some support here. They turn their las guns on them, but they ain't all going to be able to fire. They're getting tied up in melee and stuff. Hard Boys there from Trufinity's war boss. Tier 2 for Curse Crab, the first orc to go. Mistimed the stomp. Those guardsmen got very low there, just 20 hit points on those fellas. Can they push through, get some bashing of their own? This has been noded. Going to get a revive here is Crewfinity. Sentinel's going down. Looks like the sluggers sneaked in with Hide the Boys from Curse Crab and got it. Can they get away though? That's a lot of las guns and the Lord Commissar's on them. Yep, Hide the Boys kicked in again. They got far enough away and they were hidden. Storm boys looking for a target. I think they can stop this bash. Can do a stun bomb and set up the jump that way. Or not, they're just backing away. In the mid, Orcs pushing through onto the natural. Tier 2 all around aside from Waroth. He's going for the battery pack for that heal. 378 to 470 on the VPs. Can they get the full cap here? Maybe they can. Will boss levels to three. I'm sure he's happy with that. Is he ever happy? There's that battery pack. Does give him a little bit more energy. Doesn't give him any health, it seems. But it's a pretty good heal. Also gives energy. So great for Storm Boys. Let's say 70. 70 energy. That's a hell of a lot. To get like a three jump Storm Boy player at that if they level up a bit. Those guys barely get away. Maybe the Commissar should have chased them, but he wants to tie up this death gun. These are Cursed Crabs looters. Weird way on the way for Crewfinity. Awesome anti-infantry sub-commander. We'll really mess with all these Guardsman squads, but I expect we're going to see at least one Chimera up. And maybe some o yep, Ogrins from Olev on the way already, in fact. Man, a 90 power Ogrins without their leader. Kind of pricey. We'll see how they do here. Sluggers get their knob leader. And he is mean. Big swing on that Commissar who's now in full retreat mode, I think. And look at this. It's the special shooter. It's pretty special. High explosive shells is hella fun, especially against a blob of light infantry like this. We've got some stormtroopers for Wicked. And here are your Ogrins. Big old brawlers that can disrupt super heavy infantry armor, so they are pretty resistant to small arms fire, this piercing damage of these shooters. I'm not sure why it's called piercing damage, that kind of suggests it's going to pierce armor, but it super doesn't. Weird Boy is on his yet, he's on the east side already in fact, Warp Vomit would really screw with the Ogrins, that was the high explosive shells, the Knob Leader actually able to steal that bunker even though the explosives are on it. You have to retake that. 
but they might also get exploded for that shot from the weird boy. That's just his basic attack. Not really seen the crippling volley used to great effect yet. I guess it's bad news for those sluggers if you can catch them. There it is. Used it on some ranged units so the Ogrins can chase the weird boy. They are suppressed just in time and there's the warp vomit. It only hit one model. Sluggers though are free to come in and chop up some guardsmen. Ogrin is having a good look at them. They couldn't actually get onto them because of that stun. That stun lasts so long from the warp vomit. It's pretty nuts. It's like seven seconds or something. Storm boys. Oh, not wanting to engage because of all the guns they're facing now. They do have their knob leader. Would have been a decent fight for them, I think. Doing extra damage to the heavy infantry armor of these guys. The super heavy infantry armor, I should say. Level 3 Commissar. Tier 2 finally for Daddy Waroff. That's a really late tier 2. West side. Lots of stuff running away. When these guys get their knob leader, they'll be much more of a threat. They can stun a hell of a lot of these guys. And the, uh, here yeah, there it is, improved rocket packs. Gives them, is it a further jump? I think it's a further jump or it's a... A lower cooldown on the jump or something also allows them to use bomber boys. Just kamikaze one of their fellas in there. Well, boys trying to get his decap done. He's trying his best. Yeah, it's too risky, buddy. Get out of there. Maybe Ard boys up at the start there would have got a decap, but probably not the worth the red. He needs to come and help the eastern side, maybe. Decap the wreck point again. This guy now has stick bombs. So he's got infiltration, high explosive shells, stick bombs, and stun bomb to manage with his energy. 330 to 426. Lots of orcs here all of a sudden. This is a medical bunker, so they are reinforcing off it. There's a jump. But those guys are in trouble. Instantly hit by an allied stun bomb. And they might go down. I think they are going to go down, yeah. Those guys fell. Commando didn't have the energy to throw his stick bombs there, I think, unless he already did. And I missed it, which is entirely possible. Didn't mean to zoom in there. Ogrin's chasing off some shooter boys. They held the line as the guard do. Might be a tough nut to crack with that bunker there. And it's risky to steal the bunker because of the explosives. Focus on the big targets, I guess. Try and get the Ogrins out of there. That is a nice health through strike from Wicked. Storm boys jumping in, getting a decent stun. But that health fury really messed them up. There's nothing really to follow up. Big jump. Ogrins here being suppressed. That's a good foot of gawk from the weird boy. That's going to be nasty. Look at that. That killed like 15 guards when I think. How much XP did you get, buddy? He's also got Warpath. Daddy Waroff goes tier 3. Got nothing up in tier 2. Might need to teleport away. That was a good shot from the weird boy. Killed an Ogrin. Goes for the garrison. Well done. Another decent shot. They kill another one, they have to, have to retreat. Chimera is up though. There's Zap from the Weird Boy. It will jump to the Chimera, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't do a lot of damage to vehicles though. Barely anything, I think. 270 to 426. 2 to 1 for the guard. Where is St. Kelly and his stuff? It's all over here. That is St. Kelly's Chimera though. And there's not a huge amount of opposition to them on the west side, so they could push up, get a full bash again. Might need some assistance over there, Waroth. Artillery spotters on the way for Olev quite late to see those guys come out. And some good old tank busters for Crewfinity. Powerful anti-vehicle squad. And they'll be a big threat to the Chimera. You fellas have your Nobido all ready to go. There he is. It's a big bastard. Been able to hold this east side for a while now, the Imperial Guard. Servo skull up for the Inquisitor. Good use of crippling volley. And the... Oh, they don't have the assault kit. The Stormtrooper was able to get rid of them, though. So it increases her, increases her sight radius by 15 passively. And gives her the Auspex scan. Which reveals an area. And when she hits someone in melee, she reveals them. Pretty fun can set up manticore strikes and stuff with the scan. Here are the artillery spotters calling off-map mortar shells of various kinds. Upgrading to the incendiary. A 
and there's some good targets for it. Weird Boy gets a decent shot. Now being suppressed though, there's the jump. Waiting for Hide the Boys, and there they are. Invisible Orcs jumping on you. Tank Buster Barrage on the bunker really messed it up. And there's a foot of Orc. Is that gonna just clip this bunker to finish it off? It does. Here come the Ogrins to even it up a bit, maybe. Storm Boys are very low. That was a mistake. I think that jump. I don't think they're gonna get out of it. No. Even if they did get away slightly, she could have maybe used Hammer of the Witches to finish them. Those were... Curse Crabs, Storm Boys, I believe. We just saw go down. Weird Boy level 2 is done well. Runs off. They killed some stuff. Busted the bunker. But couldn't get the cat. Meanwhile, Orcs on the western side doing some work. Uh-oh. Human Rust dropped in from St. Kelly, though. Pretty good tier 3 global for the for the old Lord General. Requisition of freaking Lehman Rust from the sky. Looters are forced to retreat. Here's some flash kits from Daddy Waroth. Maybe we'll see those blasters. Lots and lots of blasters. Heavy weapon squad from Wicked. Is in tier 3. Bashing some power slowly. There's a revive. Should level, yep, yeah, we'll level the Inquisitor up. Hide the boys on the sluggers, but they're outnumbered here. Not sure if this is a good move. I guess the commandos here to help out now has the sneaky little infiltration kit. Get rid of those guys. No, oh, what's that? Okay. And Crippling Volley was missed. Now she's in trouble. Big trouble. Gets a special. Should have used it to escape, I think. I think she's going to go down. Should have used that special to get away. That swing from the knob leader takes her out. 142 to 426. Tier 3 now for Olev, the last player to go. Uh oh, Sluggers are now dead, I think. Yep. Little bit overextension there again from Curse Crab. Lehman Russ going for the execution up, taking some shots slow from Tank Busters. And a Weird Boy, I think the Weird Boy leveled again, did he? Yeah, level 3. Stick bombs going in. Orcs marauding through as they do. And there's a rocks, a full on rocks. Maybe should, maybe should have saved that for tanks and stuff, but I guess they really need this east side back and they need it clear. Lehman Rust now getting shots in. Tank busters are on the chase. A barrage might finish it off, you know, a really well placed one, a really lucky one. Might finish it off. Weird Boy's gonna get at least one shot here, maybe. There we go. Boom. Look at that volley. You don't have a beamy on the way, no. Just sitting here taking hits, this Lehman Russ. There's a barrage. That might be enough, and it is enough with another volley coming in. Bit of a soft loss on that tank then from St. Kelly. We're just trying to hold up the power bash a bit. But uh, dicey with, with those tank buses around. And I guess their attention was split over here, right? 137 to 396. Olev reminds his team about the old victory point issue of, you know, getting them. What is this? Sluggers trying to get through the mid. They're going to run into a whole bunch of stuff, though. Full ba power bash, I think, from St. Kelly. With the flamer and stuff. Yeah, might even get a decap. These guys running into orky mines. And this is... Is this Stormtroopers from Wicked? It is. I mean, all sneaky-like. We have the... Sniper Rifle for the Lord General, level 4 now. Orcs, not doing a huge amount to stabilise over here. They do have looters, I guess. Not a whole lot they can do. As I said, you don't really see their turrets put up and stuff. Maybe some war banners over there. Ogren's frustrated by these mines. Nothing here to spot them, you see. Pasrikin on the way for Olev. Battle Wagon for Crewfinity. Has tons of red too. They actually got the VP there. Orcs are a little bit slow coming back out. The west side is completely red. 131 to 373. Down goes the commando. Infiltrated knob squad. Well, partially infiltrated. They can see that one guy. There we go. Frenzy up. It kind of... Is it still worth shooting them when their frenzy is up? It's a 75% damage resist. Might have been worth 
shooting up some shooter boys for those eight seconds, but pedantic. The good foot of Gort again. The weird boy's been awesome. I feel like another weird boy, maybe from Curse Crab, would have done wonders tier two onwards. Commando's back to his feet. And then runs away, of course. Ogrins are level 2, they've done okay. East side is turning blue again. Looted truck, sorry, looted tank on the way for Daddy Waroth. Knob Squad, did you actually drop a model? Maybe they did, yeah, they must have dropped at least one. They did well though, sucked up a hell of a lot of damage. And do we see a specific response to that? We don't see a sale from the Excruciators or Purgatis yet. But the crossbow bolt pistol will help if they can get it hit, if they can hit it. There's the battle wagon. There's a rumbling pile of orky metal with a bunch of guns. And uh, this death roller that can run people over. Some shooter boys there. Ill-advised push against the natural VP ended in Pot's death. Massive infantry push in the middle now from the guardsmen. Here comes some more orcs from the eastern side. There's that big zap gun shot going in. The Kasukin. I don't think they have a weapon upgrade yet. Whoa, big old zap gun shot. The mech boy is back there. Did they wipe out those Kasukin? They might have. There's a lot of death. And here's a rocks. And a warp vomit. That was a hell of an orky push there. Crippling Volley is used, but uh, not to great effect. I thought the knobs were there for a second. 83 to 3 to 5. Meanwhile, eastern side. These Kasukin do have plasma guns. Got some more on the way for Olev as well. Commando might want to just tie them up, you know. We're taking shots also from the spotters. Here come some knobs. Curse crabs. Almost leveled up. Lost their knob leader though. Oh no, they have him. They've got him. Got those hammers as well. Sluggers piling out of the battle wagon. The thing with the battle wagon is you don't get all of the guns firing unless you put a unit inside of it. Also gives it a little speed boost. There we go. See the big shooters start firing when those guys got in. Ogrins are almost level 3. They've actually done really well. Much better than the Orky melee has fared so far. Although Crufinity's sluggers are still around. Triple cap now for the Orcs. St. Kelly does have another Lumen Russ. And as Double Kasukin are able to pump out a whole bunch of plasma damage to help deal with the knobs. These guys don't have plasma guns yet though. We do have them on Guardsman of Wicked and... Most of the guards on St. Kelly, you can't swap out those flamers. Big old zap gun shot there. Do we have the Vanquisher? We don't. Nob Squad going after the Lehman Russ. Ogrins are here, maybe they can disrupt them. Parthing issues, the Dawn of Parthing strikes again. Okay, they're okay. They got rid of the knobs. They didn't drop a model though. Not sure what these fellas are up to. Are they stuck? There we go, you can run. That was good pressure from the Orcs. Kept things off of VPs. Although, Stormtroopers are snuck through. And they just keeps running into mines, the poor bastards. And now they're going to run into flash kits. From both sides. That is a very strange place to put a Hell Fury. 83 to 230. Lehman Rust now does have the Vanquisher. Great at taking on large targets such as battle wagons. Another knob squad though for Curse Crab. West side. I think they ran away from a grenade or something. Kasukin. Nothing much to bash from that side. I guess stay mid, eh? Opens back out. Just a smidgen away from level 3. Stick bombs. Oh, they kind of ran into it. Oh, and then a an high explosive shot. That was. Little bits of guardsmen left. 
That must have given him so much XP. Got to level 7 through that. St. Kelly asking for the status of anti-vehicle weaponry, such as LAS cannons and Neiman Russes. Was that Wicked is saving for a tank? They are quite expensive, Lehman Russes. They are amazing tanks. As you can see, this guy's 1,200 hit points at level 1. But, uh, yeah, not cheap. Level 5, Lord General, almost level 6 too. There's that sniper rifle buff. Can they focus something down before that suppression comes in? They can. Down goes the mech boy. And flash kits are heavy infantry, so they are countered quite well by a plasma gun. So they are getting some benefit of cover here, though. Big loot, uh, looted tank boom shot thing went off, which they didn't enjoy. Got to be careful of sneaky tank busters. It's another good foot of gawk. It's going to be nasty. Ouch. These guys are lucky they're leveled up. They would have just completely wiped them. Still a double cap for the orcs. Can the guard find their way back into this now? Yeah, they're kind of stuck in this mid-tier three point where they can't quite get Lehman Russes rolling. I don't think they want huge amounts of them, but like one each at least, I think you want. Some executioner ones maybe to help the knobs. Executioner Lehman Russes are so freaking awesome. Just a big old plasma gun that shoots like crazy. Boom. Seems to have decent accuracy against infantry, this Vanquisher. Double knobs chasing. Are the Ogrins really want to fight this? There's a battle wagon backing them up too. They're going to get destroyed. One knob squad will destroy them, let alone two. It doesn't matter how I many levels they have. 83 to 102. That is a rocks. Oh boy. Caught them on the stairs. Doesn't wipe any of them, but gets them right off the field and so much dead stuff to reinforce. Big old zap gun shot. Is that a rocket run? It is a rocket run. Didn't quite hit the knobs though. That could have been a big deal if they got a really good hit on that rocket run. Now this Lehman Russ is in trouble. Another one is on the way from Wicked. 83 to 85. Looks like... Oh, is it saved by a creeping barrage? Maybe? Not quite. It's a nice idea from St. Kelly. It was well aimed too, but down goes the Lehman. Just got cornered by some thugs. And there's Emperor's Wrath there dodged as well. And then they run away. Job done. Thing smashed. Warboss up to level 6 with heavy armor. Up over 2,000 hit points. Gets the decap. Now should run away. There he goes. He's off. Got his boss pole too. Hey, there's another Lehman Russ. Might be able to finish off this battle wagon. Crewfinity has forgotten about this thing. Trying to get behind it for some rear armor shots perhaps. Oh man, got a rear armor shot of his own. They're going to get it. Down it goes. Crewfinity left it rattling over there. Double cap though for the Orcs. Running out of VPs. Only 30 left. This might be it. Don't think they can get on the contested in time. Maybe I'm wrong. Is there something there? There is a Lord Commissar there. Hell Fury again. Not well placed there. Yep, yeah, there's the game. Looks like the Guardsmen have conceded. Just a lot of walkie stuff. A hell of a lot of walkie stuff. Seems like the Guardsmen, they kind of like falter in Tier 3 against Orcs these last couple of games we've seen. It's like, what do we get? Lehman Russets get crushed by tank busters and knobs. And that's the key. You have to kind of organize yourself to really stop the knob squad. The Inquisitor should have excruciators or purgatus. You've got to specialize yourself somewhat to deal with such a massive threat like this. These guys look level 3. These guys level 4. They are scary. We did have some heavy bolters from Olev. Needed a little bit more of that. Need like every player maybe to get a heavy bolter. We need the Inquisitor to do stuff. It's tough though. I'm not saying it's easy. It's really tough. What are these heroes? Level 4 mech. Level 6 warboss. We had a level 8 commando. Had a lot of fun with the special shooter and stick bomb combo a couple of times. Level 5 Lord Commissar. Trying to get that VP at the end. Level 5 Inquisitor. 
and a level six lord general they have you guys thank you for watching big thanks to these players for taking part in the faction war and of course impregnable the man with the plan for getting this stuff down i'll see you next time